the rules of life. Your bridge starts from the middle of the time, a very memorable one. So when we go to the academy, the school is city, where the clock is given to them until morning. We can interact to end up and sign it by number two as a end drama, our school rules of life.
guide to what's here.
Good day kay Events, good day and dito pa rin tayo ngayon sa Rockwell Makari for the 4th Student Advertising Congress. So partner and mga ka-event, since ito ang kanilang 4th year, meron din silang inahandang 4 categories for competition. 4 categories for advertisements. Yes, and this are the best banner ad, the best radio ad, and the best TV ad. So partners and events, ito na kita natin sa ating likuran ay isa ang mga sample entries ng ating mga third year to fourth year advertising students from different universities and college in the Philippines. And to name few of them, partner. So kaya umpis ako sa Assumption College, University of Kalo. Kalo University of the East Kaloocan. Lyceum Manila and Lyceum Cavite. Mapua Institute of Technology. Coleo de San Juan de Agustin. Pamantasang Lungsod ng Maynila. At hindi magpapahuli ang Ateneo de Manila University. At syempre, nariyan din ang De La Salle University, DASMA. So mamaya, uh, we'll interview... So we're back again in Events Manila TV. We're a guide to what's hip, what's hot, and what's up. Now we have here Mr. Bush Cardiniga, the director of the event and the director of this event, and we would like to hear it from him as he speaks about the uh, many outcome of this program. So sir. So there you go. Um, we are here at the Fort Student Advertising Congress here at Rockwell and Makati City. So this Fort Student Advertising Congress is is for broad uh, advertising students and um, we got um, different schools who joined and attended our seminars that was uh, happened that happened yesterday um, schools from Lyceo de Philippines University Manila and Cavite De La Salle Dasma STI College um, Assumption Mapua and uh, more and, and many others so are you uh, a student or what um, I'm a fourth year broadcasting student at Lyceum mm -hmm. and okay. all of my stuffs are broadcasting and journalism so, students. What, uh, what are you looking forward or what do you think are the effects or the impact of this event to the students like us? Um, what we're expecting, our group is expecting more creative and talented students, especially for those advertising students because um, as we can see to, in, in their products that they, they did for the print ad, for the commercial radio ad, for the flash banner, they did very great and uh, those outcomes of their hard works for their entries is, is very cool because it's like we're not expecting to have plenty of entries but now um, 
a week earlier we got plenty of emails from these schools and students that they joined, they um, submitted their entries, so it's like um, very proud. So, what will be your next step after this? Is this annual, sir? Um, this work, yeah, this is annual. So, just a part of your curriculum. Um, no, because we're just um, part of, we're wanting to do an event, so um, our professor told us, the head committee, Mr. Dan Villa, told us to organize it, this event. It, it was supposed to happen last no, November, so we need more time to prepare, so it happened, yeah, postponed. So it's January 21 and 22, so. Yeah, it's nice to know that uh, teenagers like us, uh, with his age of 40 year college, right, so we're expanding our horizons in, in terms of advertising and other talents, so uh, once again, uh, we would like to get on another segment of the program. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We're here to interview naman the event coordinator, Ms. Jeneline Abanila. Good day, ma'am. Hello, good day. So for the first, for the first question, ma'am, um, ano po ba yung mga preparations? Can you tell us some backgrounds and informations about this event? Kung ano po yung preparations nyo, paano nyo po nag-gather ang mga sponsor at ang participants para sa event night? Um, actually, uh, I... So we're here naman to interview uh, the event coordinator for this fourth Student Advertising Congress, Ms. Jeneline Abanilla. Good day, hello, hello. So for the first question, Ma'am Jeneline, ano, can you tell us uh, some uh, information about this event? Uh, kung ano po yung mga preparations and uh, kung paano niyo po nag-gather yung sponsors and yung mga participants? Um, Student Advertising Congress, actually it's it's fourth year na and it's about um, um, yung uh, lagi pag... Student Advertising Congress, it's in its fourth year na and it's all about competition ng mga advertising students, uh, whether it's in print ad, um, TV commercials, or radio ad, and flash banner ads. It's um, in preparation naman for that. Of course, um, meron akong, uh, we planned first, tapos um, I designated people para sa mga ganitong uh, work uh, for the uh, committees. We have for the speakers, then for the uh, delegates. We have um, committee for uh, the sponsors, and syempre for the production itself on the day itself. Yeah. So, ma'am, sa event po na ito, ano po yung maasahan pa ng ating mga audience or participants? Ano po yung mga mangyayari with this second day na po, di ba? Second day of this event. Um, expect nila na mas magaganda pa yung performances mamaya. We have fashion shows na uh, after every fashion show, do natin i-award yung best sa print ads, sa TV, radio, and flash banner ads. So, so Mamaya din po yung awarding, so... Ano? Meron pa pala, uh, expect nila na yung prizes natin para sa mga mananalo, eh talagang bigatin. So sa mga interested po na baka matry nilang sumali sa gago na pinag-fifth, o kung magkakaroon pa ng susunod, magkakaroon for sure ng Student uh, Advertising Congress, ano po yung mga nice yung sabihin sa ating mga aspiring advertisers uh, po? For the aspiring advertisers, continue lang, join pa rin kayo for the 5th, the 6th, and 7th Student Advertising Congress because you will learn a lot, um, hindi lang sa competition kundi sa lahat ng speakers kasi sobrang gagaling nila. Thank you po, Ms. Jeneline. So yan ka event. Thank you. Welcome back viewers. Kung kanina nakilala natin yung chairman and the project coordinator, this time let us know the committee head which is Sir Hushan Rosalejo. So good morning sir. Good morning. Good morning. Ayan, uh, we would just just to ask, like, 
Um, how, is it, how does it feel to be the organizer of one motivating event like this? Grabe, um, asarap yung feeling na simula pa lang sa pag-invite namin sa mga schools na sumali dito sa Student Advertising Congress, yung response sa mga tao, tsaka yung mga pagdating sa creative competition, ang gaganda ng mga ad na, na lumabas. Kung makikita nyo yung mga, ayan, ito, this is only the exhibit. What more pa yung mga entry sa competition, di ba? Um, yung mga judges, ang um, mga talagang pinipili sila ng mga uh, entries na talagang napapawaw sila. Nandiyan sila, Mr. Saifu from... Uh, Uh, Mr. Saifu is from, oh my god, I forgot. Yes, uh, Mr. Saifu is from DM9, and then Big C Ray is from uh, BBDO Guerrero. And then they were astonished with, uh, with the entries. Yeah. Okay. okay, so since this year's uh, Student Advertising Congress, eh, Lyceum yung nag -host. what will be your um, message to the next school will be taking part in organizing Or maybe uh, your message the aspiring uh, aspiring advertisers to call on the vision like you guys but ayun um when it comes to advertising field kasi uh, to the advertising field kasi um kailangan mo talaga ng wapak, bawat na idea na yun nga yung sinasabi ng mga judges pa ulit-ulit sa amin na kailangan tinitignan natin hindi lang yung creative brief kundi yung big idea ng uh, NPC Okay guys, there you have it again Mr. Toshandro Salejos the Committee head of this event, so thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, Paul. So, um, welcome back to Events Manila TV. So, pwede po bang, uh, let's say, uh, interview kayo about this event? So, ma'am, what will, uh, what can you say about this event? Okay, since I'm the voiceover of this event, I must say that this is amazing. Because if not, bakit pa ako voiceover, right? Anyways, um, Si Mr. Guapo is here and Mr. Yeah. Ganda is here, so I guess that made the event extra special, <laughs> right? With uh, different contacts. Yeah. Niya naman ako sa blue eyes niyo. I should care of Robbie. Okay. Ayan. How much was the contacts? This is for uh, I think three months for first one. Three months. Okay. And I'm just planning to buy. One. To buy one. Yeah. Okay. So it's his. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I am great. Okay, I have a contact lens, and it gives me that this people ball eyes. eyes, yeah, the tulip effect. Okay. Anyways, there's this guy yeah. who's a uh, part of the audience, so why uh, why not interview him? Okay. Oh my! And we have here the part of our audience, and you are, sir? I'm Migs from Lyceum of the Philippines University, Manila. What course? ABMC Broadcasting. Okay, and you are the voice over again? Yes, I'm Nian Samato Senese at your service. And you are? Your co-host. <laughs> uh, you're my co-host, actually. Um, what do you feel as an audience? How flattering it is as an audience of this event? It's cool, and you know we learned a lot of yeah, stuff. Yeah. How cool can you get into your? Because it's interesting. Omang kinsan ni Risa Antivera, so. Okay. That's cool. That's cool, talaga. Okay. What do you expect, naman po, for the upcoming events, mama ya? Okay. Sir, naman ako ng freebies, kasi kahapon some cellular gave me a T-shirt. Wow. Yeah. Get one planner. Yeah, one planner. I hate you. I was to cell phone. Ah, here's one. Bulok na sa cell phone, boy. So if you're given opportunity to come next year for another congress like this event, would you come? Of course, of course. Di ba? Naman. Si? Oh, say say nga, tutukog na sa lobby. He made himself so brang volleyball in short to to to. All right, bye guys. Thank you.
taking we're taking the background the band here and the people's getting ready here right sir we have here now the sony club band yeah sony club and i perform that band and i think it's their and what we have here is the band the sony club where they're taking their fourth set of songs so kanina pa nag-enjoy yung mga tao dito kasi the bands are giving more energy to the audience at saka yung mga delegates natin and with the song look at the audience they're getting naughty yeah they're, they're playing like sweet songs rock songs and mellow they're like getting the heads of our audience here
bahay na. And welcome mga ka-event and ngayon naman we arrive at the last award which is the category of TV ad and with me are the first placers from Lyceum Philippines. Um,